Corey here from My Time to Fly. Over the past few months, it seems like we've been working nonstop on our airplane. Whether it was an annual or a recent problem that I had with a spark plug issue or our magnetism of the airframe causing uh, compass problems. You can go back and see videos on all of that on my channel. But what those couple of months have really proved to me is the astronomical cost that is aviation. It's not that it's unachievable. I want you all to know that if you really want it, you can do it. There are ways to make it happen. But I thought it would be pretty fun to just take a couple minutes and compare some basic costs of aviation to that of the automotive world. Now, I know a lot of you will tell me, well, it's a economies of scale thing. There's so many more cars, so many more oil filters, so much more oil that needs to be produced. Well, I know that's a thing. In today's world, I do believe that there are ways to kind of mitigate some of those costs. I work in a world of hand tools and we are a small family owned hand tool company. We sell a lot of tools, but not nearly as much as the big guy. Yet I can still make those tools cost competitively and get a good or great value out to the users in the world. So I know in some industries it can be done. So anyways, hang tight to the end of this video. I'll show you the most expensive difference that I found on a percentage basis on the last one. And I also encourage you to drop a comment below. Tell me about some of the astronomical costs that you've seen in aviation. So quickly, I'm gonna talk about four consumable products, if you will, that are the same between aviation and uh, the automotive world. I'll, uh, I'll put on the screen how much the more cost competitive version in the automotive world costs and how much the more cost competitive aviation version is running. I'm just using two websites to do this. I'm using Rock Auto, which is where I buy all my automotive parts, not sponsored, just I like the platform. And I'm using Aircraft Spruce, which is a place we buy a lot of airplane parts. Okay, so those four things are oil, oil filters, air filters, and spark plugs. Spark plugs near and dear to my heart, having just replaced a few. Okay, so up on the screen, I'll put the website or the screenshot of each website, and we'll just go back and forth and kind of talk about the cost differences. So first and foremost, oil. Oil is used, obviously, in vehicles. They maybe use a little bit less than airplanes who seem to drink oil in our old Continental and Lycoming engines. So a pretty standard cost for a quart of oil in the automotive world is about $5.25. Pretty normal. Nothing unexpected. In aviation, you do pay a premium. Maybe the most widely used or one of the most widely used uh, brands in aviation oil is Philips. Phillips 66 20W50 oil. A single quart will run you $8.50. So, you know, just a moderate difference of a 161% more expensive. Now, looking at oil filters, again, a pretty standard use, standard wear item. Uh, looking at just a standard Bosch oil filter. Again, this is, I picked a, a pretty common car in the automotive world, the Honda Accord, a newer Honda Accord 2020. Uh, you can get an oil filter for $3.42. Shifting over to the aviation world, you're going to spend almost $32 on a single oil filter if you can get one. <laughs> right? So that is more like almost a thousand percent increase in cost, 928% the ex more expensive for an oil, an aviation oil filter over an automotive oil filter. Another consumable item, uh, uh, air filter. Again, Maybe you're like me and don't change them quite enough in our cars, but a standard air filter for a car is about $8.13. Of course, you're going to pay a little shipping. You're going to pay a little shipping on the other side as well. You look at the most cost competitive air filter in the aviation world, $68.95, almost $70. It's 848% more expensive to buy an aviation air filter. Now, I don't know what they're putting in these things, but they must be pretty darn good. Now the one near and dear to my heart. This was uh, just a recent experience where we had some spark plugs go bad. And I know there's some differences in the spark plugs. I get that. 
but a pretty standard automotive spark plug you could even scrounge them up cheaper than this is about four dollars and 15 cents where you're not going to get into an aviation spark plug for less than 30 bucks matter of fact here on aircraft spruce you'll see that they're 33.55 a piece and those are the most affordable Switching gears just a little bit to, again, another spark plug conversation. This is where I found maybe the biggest difference automotive compared to aviation. A little bit higher end spark plug from Autolite and Iridium Ultra, right? Again, on Rock Auto, $6.50 a piece. Maybe this is a spark plug like I would have ran in my race car years ago. You know, it's not too bad, $6.50. The most expensive spark plug on aircraft spruce, $194.75. That's a 3,000% cost increase over an automotive spark plug. I'm not coming on here saying what's right or what's wrong. But I am saying in today's world of increases, improvements in manufacturing technologies, this is crazy. I'll cite one more example. I've talked about this in comment sections of other videos I've made for a long time. I really want to see us as an industry get into new technology engines. They exist. They're used in aviation. Things like UL or maybe a better example is Rotax, right? I flew in an airplane some time ago with a Rotax 915 IS. Turbocharged, 140 horse, 141 horse, I think it is just a wonderful engine it's forty five thousand dollars for this engine forty five thousand dollars what i find is funny and i know we need redundancy and security and safety when we're flying in airplanes but what i find is funny is rotax makes an incredible amount of engines specifically in the utv market and others and you can buy those engines for two or three thousand dollars right? Ten less than ten percent of the cost. I have to believe there's no way there's a thousand percent more work or legality or risk in making an aviation engine. So I certainly hope this is just shine the light a little bit on what the aviation world is like. Again, I'm not here to say what's right or what's wrong. I am saying there is a huge opportunity for companies out there to capitalize on maybe the middle ground. What a win for us as aviators it would be if the parts we had to purchase were only half the price they were now. And if it really truly only cost, you know, a small percentage more to manufacture them, maybe those companies could be incredibly profitable. For now, thanks for being here on My Time to Fly. I really appreciate the support. Make sure you click that like button or subscribe to the channel for more general aviation content, and we'll see you all real soon.